What's up, automation people? Welcome to another VB script tutorial. We are www.qtptutorial.net and our goal here is to teach you everything related to automated testing with UFT or formerly known as QTP. We try to teach you every single thing so that when you guys are doing automated testing with UFT, you know everything that you need to know in order to be efficient, in order to be the best. We teach the the only VB script course that I have found, which is very important for QTP. And we teach everything from object repositories to descriptive programming. And finally, something as complicated as developing automated testing frameworks, such as keyword driven frameworks or test driven frameworks. So thank you guys for joining us today. I am very excited that you all are here and we are continuing with our VB script tutorials. So far, we have covered so much with all of our students here on our site. We've covered everything from variables, arrays, constants, and dictionaries. We covered conditional logic. We covered so many topics and it has been a fun journey. And now we have arrived at our next topic, which is functions and subs. This is where it becomes really fun because you guys are now at such an advanced level that you you can begin to do some really amazing things and begin to take your skills to the next level and begin to stand out away from the crowd. You guys will learn some great concepts of code reusability and will be able to begin to apply your knowledge towards automated framework. And once you master these next few topics, you guys will be good to go to take up QTP and learn it in a breeze. It's going to be so easy, I promise you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me pull up my virtual machine here. So let me tell you the goal of this module. The goal is that by the end of this module, you guys will be able to write and understand functions, your own functions, and even mine, which I will include and show with real UFT examples as we go through it. And it's a rare skill. I am being very serious. There are many individuals who don't even understand how a function works. So like I said, when you guys figure this out, you guys will be at a pretty high level knowledge of VBScript. 